Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. If you look at this image, you'll probably notice that it seems to be moving. However, it's actually a mind-bending optical illusion, and I'm going to show you how to create it. This tutorial utilizes some features that are included in version CC. If you're thinking of upgrading, I can offer you the newest version of Photoshop at a 20% discount for only $7.99 per month. It even includes Lightroom, 20 gigabytes of cloud storage, and a whole lot more. Click the link in my video's description to get the discount. The first step is to create a new document. Press Ctrl N on Windows or Command N on a Mac, or you could go to File and New. Make the width 870 pixels, the height 800 pixels, and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. If you're working on version CC, open the background contents list and click Other. If you're working on a version earlier than CC, I'll show you what to do in a minute. In the hexadecimal field, type in CED21D. Then, press Enter or Return twice to close both windows. If you're working on an earlier version of Photoshop, click the foreground color to open the color picker and type in the same hexadecimal code. Go to View and make sure rulers and snap are checked. If they aren't, just click on them. Go to a ruler at the top and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. Go to the ruler at the left and drag out another guideline to the center. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center of the guidelines. Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circle approximately this size. Click the foreground color and for the color type in 3361FC. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. To fill the selection with a new foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Next, we'll squeeze in both shapes. Click on the lock icon to unlock the background. This releases the background layer so it can be edited. Shift click on the top layer to make it active as well. Open your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. In the Width field, type in 60. To accept the transform, press Enter or Return twice. To trim off the transparent sides, go to Image and Trim. In this case, you can trim it based on any of the choices and click OK. Double click the top layer to open its layer style window. Click Stroke and the color box. Pick Black and click OK. Make the size 50 pixels and the position is inside. Then click OK. Make a copy of the active layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click Stroke to open it in the Layer Style window. Click the color box and pick White. Then click OK on both windows. Next, we'll make the stroke on the right half black. First, we need to fuse the strokes into their respective layers. To do this, click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Shift-click on the thumbnail of the top shape to make it active as well, and merge the two active layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Repeat the same steps for the shape below it by making that layer active and making a new layer above it. 
Make the bottom shape layer active as well. Then merge the two layers. Make the top layer active and open your rectangular marquee tool. Go to the top left corner and drag a selection to the bottom middle. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Let's hide the guidelines by pressing Ctrl or Command H. This is the basic image that will ultimately comprise our entire optical illusion. First, click the thumbnail of the top shape to make it active. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. Type in Optical Illusion and click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to File and New. Make the width 1550 pixels, the height 870 pixels, and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. If you're using version CC, the background should still be the color you typed in the first time. Click OK. If you're using a version earlier than CC, click the foreground color as you did earlier, and while the color picker opens, type in CED21D. Then click OK and press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Pattern. For the Scale Percentage, type in 15 and click OK. Make a composite snapshot of your visible image by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Alt, E on Windows or Command, Shift, Option, E on a Mac. Go to Select and Color Range. Make sure Sampled Colors is selected and make the fuzziness anywhere between 100 and 200. Click on the background to pick up its color. Then click OK. We now have a selection around each elliptical shape. However, we need to invert the selection to ultimately cut the shapes out. To do this, press Ctrl or Command Shift I. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut the shapes from the background and copy them to its own layer. Now that we have all the shapes by themselves, we can hide the composite snapshot and the pattern adjustment layer. With your rectangular marquee tool still active, place your cursor in between two shapes at the top of your document and drag a selection over eight columns and seven rows. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy this block of shapes onto its own layer. Then, Hide the layer under it. Next, we'll center the block of shapes over your document. Open your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command A to select it all. Click the Align Horizontal Centers icon and the Align Vertical Centers icon. Then, to deselect it, Press Ctrl or Command D. Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Click the Warp icon. Click the Custom tab and click Fisheye. Then click the check mark at the top or press Enter or Return twice. Next, we'll create guidelines that will divide our document into three equal sections. Go to View, and if you're working on version CC, click New Guide Layout. If you're working on an earlier version of Photoshop, I'll show you what to do in a moment. Make the number of columns 3 and the number of rows 0. Then click OK. For earlier versions, click 
New Guide, and tick Vertical. For the position, type in 33.3% and press Enter or Return. Click Back on View and New Guide. This time, for the position, type in 66.6% and press Enter or Return. Open back your Transform tool. Go to the middle anchor point on one of the sides, and when you see a horizontal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag the Transform in until it snaps to the guidelines. Then, press Enter or Return. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the layer. Open back your Transform tool. Go to the middle right anchor point and drag it to the left edge of your document until it snaps in place. Then, press Enter or Return. Make a copy of this layer and press and hold Shift as you drag it to the right until it snaps to the right edge of your document. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.